one of seminar from the IT firm in Hong Kong. Actually, one of the speakers tell me about a very interesting story about U.S. cloud security program. Actually, the story is that there's an 11 years old hacker in U.S. actually hacked into the Twitter account of Obama, Barack Obama, and then post a lot of inappropriate stuff over there. And then actually the U.S. government responds very quickly and try to solve them by themselves. But within four hours, they cannot provide any solution because the hacker is too smart, right? And that's why they, the, the, actually in, uh, at the four hours, actually this, the Obama himself actually make a call to the CEO of the cloud fair, which is the pioneer of cloud computing in the U.S. And then actually the CEO used 30 minutes to solve the problem. From this interesting story, you can actually see that cloud security is actually having a mature uh, headache for U.S. government. And also, for this case, it's actually giving a lot of headache for the GT Linux. That's why today we are here, uh, our team is for Polyu, and we are Kiki, this Kiki, William, and Kathy, and Jason. And today we are here to bring you the safe and sound strategy, which we, we are trying to help the uh, Linux to actually build its safe and security uh, information system. Linux, Linux, GT, 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 okay. GT to build its safe security system to have uh, partnership with the cloud security company and also to, uh, to build a shared cloud service technology to, uh, to reduce the risk of leakage of the information for their company. And also we want to actually introduce the sound, which is to give some understandable information on security to the client that the uh, company currently have, and also to build the customer recognition through the safe and sound strategy. So to, to see why we will focus a lot about the security program, let's look into the core competence of the company itself. So the company currently have a very good reputation when it comes to acquisition and partnership. They have a lot of partners, for example, macro strategy and integration point, which provide a lot of uh, functions for their SCM service to comprehend this SCM service. And also they have a merger from a trade card, which provides financial functions for, this, for the service that the company is providing. So uh, that's very good in acquisition and partnership, and they're also very good in comprehensive service due to this kind of partnership. They have, uh, uh, besides the supply chain management that other companies have, they can also provide the financing, contract management, and also the procurement management for the, for the SME, uh, SMEs in shipping companies. And of course, the global scale is also one of the core companies of this company. And then we may look into the uh, key issue. Why is a company with such a good portfolio we still have a problem regarding uh, getting into the tech and determining into the market? So the first is about the security concerns, actually, from the clients. Because from a day-to-day -day basis, the clients give a, have a lot of information regarding the transaction, the financing, the procurement, etc. And they are not willing to put it in the cloud system because they are scared of the cloud system that they, they will have some leakage of their uh, sensitive information out there. And also, this can lead to a very low acceptance of, on the cloud platforms for these kinds of shipping companies. And all in all, this leads to a very low customer acquisition for the GT in order to tap into the market. So that it, this pro, uh, gives a very long, a huge resistance for GT to expand its market. And what is the key issue inference to the strategic capacity? As we can see that the business unit strength is very strong for GT because they have a lot of knowledge flowing and a lot of skills flowing in from the partners and mergers that they are currently having. So the business unit is very strong, but actually the market attractiveness is not as high enough. It's actually the middle part for the supply chain management, procurement, financing, and cost management. Because these services actually require the clients to actually feed in their own sensitive information into the uh, GT system, and which leads to uh, uh, that the GT cannot actually move their second at uh, the supply chain uh, management and also the procurement, this kind of service into the higher position, which can give them prosperity in terms of profitability and sustainability. And that's why our strategy today, our key issue today is that we, we think that the major problem that is uh, hindering the growth of GT is that because of security concern from clients or uh, about the computing uh, service, uh, cloud computing. And also, there's a low acceptance of level on the cloud platform. So that's why we have provided the safe and sound to tackle each of the program. And now let's pass the time to Kiki to elaborate more about the safe and sound. Here comes our strategy, safe and sound. So with this strategy, actually we recommend Nexus, GT Nexus, to target, still target at small to medium-sized company and also the cloud-based integrated SCM strategy uh, services. Because that's basically to, we do not like the uh, GT Nexus 
to, uh, to clash its offerings with those large-scale companies such as Oracle and SAP, and also to strengthen its critical success factor. So that how to strengthen its critical success factor? That is to use the sick and sound strategy to strengthen the security and gain the customer recognition. Ultimately, we want to uh, provide superior customer offerings and also increase the customer of, uh, acquisition of our uh, services. First of all, it's safe and uh, safe strategy. There are two components. First is partnership with cloud security companies such as the cloud player. And second is to uh, introduce a new kind of service that is uh, shared cloud services. Analyzing the, uh, the root uh, cause of the um, security problem, we know that the first of all is lack of industry secure, uh, security standard. And second, there are a lot of concerns among customers on the third cloud uh, third-party cloud, so that with this partnership with cloud security uh, company, we want, first of all, to establish our own security standard in cooperation with these cloud security uh, companies. And second is to use this cloud security company to monitor our services and the platform to provide a security assurance to customers. And once there is crisis, broken, such as uh, uh, rumors and scandals, so that the third party uh, companies could provide the check, check services to on our platform to see what is going on and what's the root cause of all these issues. So that with this kind of cooperation with cloud security company, we can provide um, security assurance to the customers. And you may still concern that even with this partnership with a uh, cloud security uh, company, some small to medium sized companies still have the concerns with the security problem. So we introduce, recommend the uh, Nexus to introduce the shared cloud services in addition to the current offerings. So you may ask, what is a share? Actually, this is shared by a smaller group of small to medium sized companies, and this is a shared private cloud. So you may ask, why not, why, why shared cloud, not totally private? because that our target is on small to medium sized customers. So that it will be very expensive and, and unaffordable to these uh, customers so that it will not attract their attention. And also the secondly, if we adopt the private cloud currently in, the, in this stage, we'll compromise our analytical capabilities. And also the third is that we have less uh, competitiveness compared to the large scale competitors. And so that with this introduction with the new uh, services, that is the shared cloud services, we, the small to medium sized co uh, companies could just afford uh, pay a uh, premium to buy our package to gain the additional security so that they can reduce their risk and concerns. So that this is a safe strategy. How is our sound strategy? Okay, thank you. So in a safe strategy, we still just can protect our customers' security of information and then what we want to do is to let the customer know how to express the information and how to just increase our market shares. So then what we want to know is to what information we want to express to the customer. It is actually our core competence. What are they? The first, our first core competence is the security assurance because we still can make sure make the security assurance by our cloud security standard, which was um, with partner, we established with the partner information 
and we will still do some storytelling about our integrated supply chain management platform, and we will still use some reporting news, for example, to just report our cooperative process with information security companies, or some news about our share club, which was an innovation method in the industry. And we will still just publish some industry guidebooks, which offer the professional guide on the cooperative process and security in the platform industry. And then we have some understandable information, but how to let the customer really know? It was by the, um, it was just explored by some accessible channels. What are they? Um, first, we want to just public our standard to turn it into an industry-wide data management standards to go the worldwide industry adoption and to be the pioneer of the security control system. And then we still want to just use some professional magazine to public our story, our news, and then we will join more industry forum which can attract more small mid, small size and medium size of uh, those carriers to gain the more wide promotion. Then by these three steps we can just achieve our customer recognition. Um, with, with, with those more customer recognition we can gain more uh, market awareness and to gain more market share and to become the pioneer in the supply chain management platform. Okay, thank you. With all of these amazing solutions and suggestions of our strategies, we still have three risks that should be uh, concerned about. The first is about definitely the security risk, because as you all know, security is the key in this industry, and there is also potential risk for this. So in order to mitigate this risk, we first of all want to collaborate with some cloud information security company like the Cloudflare, because they are they are a very independent third party, and they can just oversee our operation, and we can build a relationship with them to cooperate with them to build our own security standard. And we also want to the whole industry use this security standard and to let us be the pioneer in this industry. And the second risk is about the customer misunderstanding of our shared cloud, because customers may concern about that. Maybe some small groups of companies use this shared cloud, right? And maybe other companies may know their data and information. So this is also a potential risk for them to avoid use this system. But in order to mitigate this, first of all, we need to do some counter marketing, as my colleague uh, just mentioned. We can tell some story and tell the customers what the shared cloud is, is and what the uh, what the function of it and what's the advantages of it and then we keep the communication channel open and to give them more information about it and to let them know actually it is safer but not riskier because the number of companies use this shared cloud is very small and we can make a better management of it and also with the cooperation with our security company like Cloudflare we can also have a better management of it so that it, there's no risk of it and it is safer than before. And the third risk is about the partnership management. As, as you all know, the partnership is also a key for our operation and we have a lot of partner, partners in this industry. So the relationship between us and our partner is also a key and risk for us. In order to mitigate this risk, first we should build our long-term relationship with them and also we should help our partner to build their image. For example, if we promote our image and do our advertisements, we can also manage our partners and to do some promotion for them so that their customer recognition can also increase by our advertisements. And this can create a win-win strategy and also can make our relationship closer in the long run. And the next part is the financial analysis. And for the revenue part, because we still focus on the cloud bank uh, supply chain management services. So our revenue comes from the two main sources. The first is the public cloud, and the second is our shared cloud. And for the co cost part, I divide it into two parts, namely the upfront cost and ongoing cost. For the upfront cost, because we want to make a partnership with some security cloud company, so there is some negotiate cost in this process. And based on this, we want to build our security system, so there's security building cost. And based on this, we can also do some market research to know what our customer really want and what's the trend of the market. So there are some market research costs. And for the ongoing cost, we will do the promotion, like the content marketing to the customers continuously. And also we want to maintain our system safe, so there's some maintenance cost. 
Okay, next, let's have a look of our implementation timeline and conclusion. Today, we present the company Nexus, and we use our safe and sound strategy to help them develop further. And for the first of all, is the safe strategy. In the first step, we want to make some partnership with the cloud security company, like the cloud player, and also we want to build our own security standard in this industry, to be the pioneer in this industry. And based on this, we can upgrade our shared cloud services and the public cloud services so that we can make it safer and to, you know, to increase the customer confidence on our products. And just to make it safe is not enough, actually. And we also want to make our customers know why it is safe and what advantage they can get by using our product. So next, we use our soft strategy. We have four steps in soft strategy. The first is to define our core competencies. First of all, we are safe. We partnership with the security company, so it's a, a issue of our safety. And secondly, we are functional. Because we have some partnership with other companies, so we just did not provide the uh, supply chain management, uh, supply chain management cloud. We also provide some financial and uh, analytical services. So this is our fun uh, functional advantage. And the third thing is about the cost effectiveness. Because if, you, if the company use several companies to provide the different division of the cloud, it will be very costly. But if we just choose us, we can provide the whole stream of this. So this is very cost effective, and it's also our core competitiveness. And by using this core competitiveness, we want to transfer them into understandable information to our customers to let them know how good it is. And then we want to explore more channels, like to participate in the industry conferences and uh, to you know to increase our influence in this industry. And finally, we want to have a better customer recognition and to increase our market share in the long run. And that's all about our presentation today. Thank you very much. Thank you. These services are very expertise, very high because they have partnership with a lot of experts and they have also uh, merged with the trade card. And that's why I think that the business units of the GT is actually already very strong and they don't, do not have to actually acquire more these kind of core companies into their SCM uh, services. And that's why we think that uh, uh, they should actually focus more about how to gain the demand to, in, to create the demand in the market by teaching, by educating the customer that we are actually providing a very secure um, service to them, which is the major uh, resistance for them to choose our service. Because well, we are providing a lot of service, right? They can see the value of our service. But, but they, what they don't want to take a step forward to put to join us is because they see that they got very, very afraid of the security leakage, the information leakage. Yeah, and that's why we focus on the strategy. Did you consider the risks about doing everything from the security side? Yes, the risks of the strategy. Yeah, of course. Uh, because right now we are, because right now there is not a standard in this industry actually to make sure whether it is safe or not. So our strategy is one to collaborate with some security companies because we think they are very independent uh, third parties. So, so sorry, so it's it's good that you thought through the partnership side. Yeah. 
put what you started off with a very good introduction with the um, story of the hacker. So there's always another hacker, mm -hmm. and that's there's right. always the, the hacker that's more clever than the previous one. What happens? How would you address that if you do have a hacker, mm -hmm. and what does that do to your strategy? Because you're putting everything you have on having a very secure. So. Brand. Even if we are partnering with the uh, expertise, cloud security, there's always some clever hackers which can always hack into our system, right, to get some information. So what we do is that if this process actually happen, we will be very transparent to our clients. We will collaborate with the with our partner to to see, look into the ways that. Uh, with the, why there's happening the leakage of our information and how we can actually solve this and we will publish it to with our clients to let them know that we actually try hard to monitor it to maintain their level to the highest and so I think the key is to transform this kind of terminology that maybe we also don't know to into some understandable material to let the clients understand that of course we have some clever hackers but actually we are trying our best try our best to secure you in to join us because we cannot control the every risk mm -hmm. of it, and we cannot control every part of it. So we just want to transfer, you know, to deliver an image or information to our customers that we can do the best in the industry. So we are the best choice in this industry. We choose us, believe us, and we can do our best in this. So that we, I think this can give more confidence to our customers. if they catch up, I mean, uh, you, you mentioned the partnership mm. with the um, with, with a security yeah. company. So if everyone else, you know, has similar strategy, so how would you distinguish or, uh, or differentiate mm. yourself from, from the other um, First of all, actually, we are the first the first pioneer to establish this, this standards with our partner, that is a security company. So that uh, cloud security company, so that there is a first move advantage for us to gain the recognition among the industry. So that we, um, we after we have publicized our uh, standards to the industry, we will be the pioneer of this um, with this uh, security standards. So that other in the other players in the industry will adopt our standards. Okay. And also, yeah. Uh, I think the key is to how to keep our first mover advantage in the long run because right now we have you know have made the first step to cooperate with this cloud security company and also I think we should uh, you know also cooperate with some higher education institutions in different countries because they have some research about the security of cloud and I think they are very professional in this uh, in this area and we can also cooperate with them and to know more about the market trend and also more about the security problem and how to solve it and to keep our, you know, still have the first mover advantage. Okay, so maybe let me explain more in the marketing aspects because right now we talk about technology side and the security side. In the marketing aspect, actually currently, the three main major competitor in this industry is the Cargo Smart, Intra and GT. And actually the Intra itself and Cargo itself is targeting on those uh, very large scale uh, shipping companies. But what we are talking right now is some low to middle end customers that we have currently. Uh, we are actually currently targeting on them. And then we can actually penetrate deeper into them by providing a more integrated uh, service that we have currently have to reduce the cost of their, uh, of their um, operations. Because sometimes when they are purchasing the cargo smart, they have some, uh, con uh, some problem regarding e-commerce. Like e and that's why they have to purchase both cargo and intra. But we are providing a more comprehensive so they can reduce the cost in the long run. And that's why I think the, mar in the marketing aspect, in the marketing point of view, actually we are actually um, not uh, head to head targeting, uh, competing with those two major competitors in the industry. And that's why we think that it would be a blue ocean, but not a red ocean in the industry right now for us. Personally, I applaud you guys for trying to tackle such a big problem. Because that's what I'm saying. cloud computing, you're not only shipping, it's everything. Mm -hmm. And to be quite honest, just you know, finding a partner with a mm -hmm. security company mm -hmm. would not be sufficient. Mm -hmm. And also, you mentioned about trying to see if you can set industry wide to set yeah. Nexus is a very small company. Even the big company can't really set the standards. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's great, you guys have that willpower and energy to do that, but in terms of feasibility, mm. it may take longer than you think, and you probably burn up your cash before mm. you can do that. 
Um, but as a sort of positioning and marketing tool, that's why I think you can take that position. But I have a question. Is, we do, yeah, you have a good competitor analysis here. Basically, you target SME. There are a lot of things that other competitors don't do. And for example, here you list the procurement contract. Why you just choose security? Why not other product categories that no other people have and focus on that? Yeah, because right now, the situation is that we have already a lot of partnerships with other companies and to give us a lot of support, you know, besides the supply chain management cloud. So that we think the function actually is enough at this stage. And there's not a lot of room for us to, you know, to increase the partnerships with other companies. So what we need to do is to create the demand. To create the demand of our customers and to let more you new know, customers use our products and to increase our market share. So we think at this stage this is the most important thing to do. So that that's why we want to increase the safety level and to attract more customers. And then maybe in the future we can still explore more aspects that we can call cover with. Um, may I refer back to your about the uh, concern about the feasibility of partnership with the information security experts currently in the market for five years. Well, actually, inside the com uh, cloud security uh, company, they have a lot of mechanisms about a self-enhancement of their own internal system, protection system. And uh, they uh, actually welcome a lot of companies to join in them, actually to figure out uh, what will be the next step of hackers attacking the cloud system. And that's why we think that if, if, we, if we partner with them, actually it's a win-win situation, because we can also uh, give them some uh, fit information fit-in or case fit-in for them to better enhance the internal system in terms of uh, uh, knowledge management and also intelligence. So at a point, so as you have said that um, the, the Nexo company is not a big company, so if it, if it just uh, promotes some new product like the ERP system or other mm -hmm. system, it's really difficult for it to compete with those big jumps in this area like the Oracle, like the SAP. So, but it is really good, uh, it, it's core company it, it's really the integrity supply chain management platform. So I think it can focus on it and to enhance the function of it to make it more security, to differentiate in this industry and to just be more ma market share. For SMEs, you know, it's probably going to be more focused on cost rather than mm -hmm. uh, security, security mm -hmm. and the strategy that they're going to big companies, right? Yes, right. More of selling the benefits of putting them in there so they can have access yeah. to mm -hmm. uh, their own customers is actually uh, probably more feasible. But when you now, down to you say you focus on SMEs. Mm -hmm. And we all know the shipping industry is very competitive. Basically, it's cut from because the capacity is just excess capacity. Mm -hmm. So there will be a lot of, expect there will be quite a bit of uh, consolidation in the market. So, which means that a number of your customers may be smaller. So, if you only focus on one, how would that be too risky? Yeah, because we still have our, you know, when we are discussion about it, and we still have our, uh, you know, long-term development strategy. Because uh, at this stage, we want to just tackle in the middle and the end of in this industry. But I, we think the private cloud is the trend in this industry. And if once we have earned a lot of market share, have enough power and resources, and then we should invest in the private cloud, which is more you know, attractive for the big companies. Because you know, for the big companies, they will not use the public cloud because they think it's not secure enough, and they want to use their own private cloud. But right now, we don't have enough resources and you know money to invest into it. So we think that is our maybe long term. Run. Okay, so maybe yeah. I can address about uh, what is the cost efficiency of our system compared to other systems. Because currently, after when we are looking into the appendix of the case, which we find that there is a lot of shipping companies with which is SMEs, and they have actually bought a lot of uh, system from. Uh, cargo smart intra and GT together because they, they don't know uh, whether uh, everything can be covered and then actually when they're doing the integration within this IT system they have to integrate both of the three parties the system and they have, they have to have the, its own talent IT talents to solve this problem and that's why we think that if we have because our core competence of our service that we have a very comprehensive uh, uh, coverage of our service to these kinds of SME, and that's why it will reduce the integration cost regarding to integrate different kinds of parties because we have already covered everything. And so this will be a very attractive package for them to actually purchase it and then lower its cost regarding the integration of these different sources of IT services. Yeah. When choosing your strategy, mm -hmm. did you encounter any challenges? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
preparing it to our alternative strategies. Do you um, consider the costs of each strategy from your perspective, not from your customer perspective? I'm concerned that you've chosen a very high cost strategy um, that won't be just high cost today, but because you want to be pioneers, it's an ongoing very high cost to remain as pioneers. And of research and development and being a pioneer does not always um, make you the make the money. <laughs> um, what, what are your thoughts on this? Okay, let me first look into uh, what's the cost of doing this pioneer stuff. We actually have to uh, collaborate with the partnership with the uh, expertise in this aspect, cloud security. And then we also have to collaborate with some research institutions, right? But we think that why we would more uh, cost with efficiency, because the cost is shared among the cloud uh, security company, us, and also maybe there's some research center localized in the, those uh, areas. And then the cost is shared among these three parties, actually we can create a more uh, favorable environment for us to develop, to be a pioneer. And what we are focusing is not about the cost, but, uh, but about the, our bonding, our relationship with the, these three parties, for us to in long run to, to gain more uh, leverage our, our security processing in order to tap, gain more pe uh, penetration into the market. Yeah. <laughs> if you need it. <laughs> I guess that's all um, for our... Thank you, Please give them a hand of applause.